All right, before we go for a drive, I just want to go over the interior just for a fast second. Very luxurious room. Uh, you have the nice JBL that it comes with. These things are fully decked out for the money. Honestly, the amount of tech and performance that you get for the uh, money that you spend on these is really, really impressive. It does have power folding mirrors, which is pretty sweet. I've done a little beamer coating in here. I'll cover that in future videos, but basically the car is going to default in sport mode, which is nice. Has a nice roar when it comes to life. I love that about this. It's got this, this nice little pop when it comes to life. Really intuitive uh, screen here. It's a little complex. It's for me coming from like a Mustang, this is like a nightmare. But over the past couple of days, I've really gotten the hang of how everything works. It does have wireless CarPlay, which is nice. You do have a heads up display as well. A nice analog and digital cluster here. Very BMW everything. Okay, so you got your iDrive system. Here's all your controls down here for sport mode. And then I've also got this thing turned off as well. That's your auto start stop, which I hate. I hacked into the ECU, if you will, with the Beamer code. Again, we'll cover that in future videos. And you got the nice carbon here. So everything is very luxurious. So very nice seats. They are heated, but not cooled. It's, it's a very classic BMW interior in here. Not a bad thing. Very luxurious, not dare I say too exotic. It's not as exotic looking as like you, what you might grasp from the outside, the exterior. So here we go. We're gonna go for our first drive. Not mine, but yours with me on camera. So let's get fired up. It is hot, but we have a lot to talk about. So very far departure away from American Muscle, like you've uh, come to know me on the channel, but this is gonna be a whole new story, a whole new adventure. Yes, it has a lot of BMW parts, but people don't know the story behind it. What Toyota did was they took that existing BMW catalog brought it back to Japan and then finessed and tuned differently than like the Z4. It's not just a one for one copycat car. Suspension, different engine and transmission tuning and uh, some of the internals into this B58 engine are actually uh, forged and built up a little bit different as well uh, to Toyota spec. So a lot of guys don't know that, but anyway, I digress. Let's put it in drive. Let's get started. Give her some gas. chargers and it was just a, a monster of an engine you could throw gobs of boost at that and it had like no ceiling I mean you couldn't blow it up it was like indestructible now the b58 is really good too this being a 22 tuning is gonna be tricky we'll discuss that in future videos how I plan to go around that but as far as power and everything we've got a bunch of stuff already in the garage get ready if you are into this kind of car and you want to see a lot of mods uh, we're gonna be doing that I mean you guys my OG's out there watching this channel you guys know we're not gonna leave well enough alone we are going to mod this car and we're gonna have fun with it we're gonna get up here and we're gonna do some twists and turns because I think that that is one of the reasons you also want to buy this car fast you hear those shifts it is it is properly quick properly quick this to me feels uh, very reminiscent of a, let's say, an 18 Mustang GT, full bolt-on E85, making about 500 wheel. This feels like that to me a little bit, close to it, in stock form. So, when we turn this up, when we throw more boost at it, it's just going to get even more crazy. But we got some fast sweeping turns up here. Let's dig in. And it's glued. So, I did this 
back when I had the Mach 1, and we are way faster through these turns than I was with that car. Tire squeal a little bit? Yes. So this is quick, very fast car. I want to say I can go a lot faster through there. Not that the Mach 1 and like the GT 350s and Shelby's won't do it. I think it's a confidence thing. This is a lighter car and it's got a lot more turn in. It's got a lot of grip. I feel like there's less oversteer in this car uh, compared to the other. And I'm gonna do a detailed discussion of how I feel about this car compared to that Mach 1 that I came from. I don't know how they'll compare on track, like a road course, but on the street, I get more confidence out of this. It's lighter weight, it's lower to the ground, and this is still on the stock 255 front, 275 width rear Michelin Pilot Super Sport. Not even the 4S and not even anything wide. The Mach 1 had 305s in the front and 315 rear. And this has a lot less meat and it may be able to go through those turns faster with more confidence. Alright, let's go through these turns again. of ownership we have put almost 700 miles on so driving it quite a bit and it has grabbed far more tension in those seven days than anything else that I've ever owned period not whatsoever I know the internet is a dangerous place and everybody has their comments but I'm telling you in a real life people love this car it's something that you just don't see very often there's people hanging outside of their cars trying to like wave and get my attention stuff so kind of a short video but i didn't want to beat to death uh videos that have already been done you know by press coverage and so on and so forth over the past couple of years we know that it shares bmw parts who cares honestly i mean there's been collaborations with vehicles all throughout history i get the upset but i've never owned a super before so this is it, it doesn't affect me if that makes any sense it doesn't hurt my feelings whatsoever that we have a b58 engine in this thing i think it's still a robust and stout engine and we're going to explore its power limits and uh, i guess we'll just leave it at that and pick up another video in here in a couple of days so i'll see you then for our first mods to our new toyota supra i appreciate you watching god bless all of you goodbye